To me, it seems like endogenous DMT is a natural metabolic step between raw building materials and the uh, signaling transmitters that we use on a day, our workhorse signaling transmitters like serotonin. And um, along the way, this D the DMT occurs endogenously for only very short periods because it's either metabolized or it's catabolized into a more uh, complex molecule. But for the periods of time that it is in the body, to me it seems like uh, when you have, when you go into shock, if you're in a car accident or if you're in a, ver if you're in a traumatic accident, immediately what happens is the body enters into this hyper-aware state where you feel light, you tingle, you become clammy, you become sweaty. Everything seems brighter, everything seems shimmering. Um, I think that DMT is, is intimately involved in this sort of traumatic shock state where your awareness becomes so acute that every little detail stands out in such fullness. Um, and that's a traumatic response. That's a traumatic response reaction. Um, that's really the only time in waking life that I felt anything that felt like DMT. Um, other than that, I can't imagine what DMT would be used for endogenously, except for the research that I've read, which sort of says that it might be in tertiary anxiolytic, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it may help in digestion yeah. some because of the <laughs> because of all of the 5-HT receptors in the gut. Um, uh, I know that uh, if DMT and other psychedelics do create this sort of uh, disinhibition of lateral inhibition that that would be very rewarding for creative types because it allows a kind of tangential thinking and it allows you to look at a cloud and not see a cloud you see the sheep or you see the pirate ship you know you it's a state change in the brain that happens when uh, your perception of things become more abstract than hard world and DMT may play a small role in that, in allowing people to see mundane things and perceive them as magical or perceive them as, as abstract metaphors for, or metaphors for abstract thoughts.